Welcome to the homework for lesson one of module five. This is grade two. Get your name on here first. And we're working on more and less. 10 more than 222 is 232. That's just 10 more. Then 100 more than 222 is, well, what's 100 more? It's 322. 10 less than 222, 212, that's 10 less. 100 less than 222, 122. 515 is 10 more than, well, if 515 is 10 more than this number is going to have to be 10 less. 505. 299 is 100 less than, well, if 299 is less, then this number must be more. So that's 100 less. This has to be 100 more, 399. And now we have something here is 100 less than 345. That's going to be 245. And something here is 10 more than 397. And that goes over a uh, 100 mark. So that's, but it's only 10 more. So that's going to be 407. 898 is, ooh, is this more or less than 998? It's more, but how much more? Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. <laughs> you got to be careful when you read these. 898 is less. How much less? It's, you know, 100 less, 10 less. Well, we can look at the digits here. The 98 is the same, so the 10s and the 1s are the same. It's 100 less. <clears throat> 607 is, it's more. Then 597, it's got to be 10. Even though the hundreds have changed, you can see it's right near that 07 and 97. They're only 10 apart from each other, so it's 10 more. 10 more than 309 is 319. And 309 is, well, it's less, right? And it's not a hundred less, it's going to be ten less. And now we're looking at number patterns. First thing when you look at these, you want to see are they are they increasing? Are the numbers getting larger? Or are they decreasing? You know, the numbers getting smaller. And then by how much are they getting bigger or smaller by ten or by a hundred? So here we have 280, 290. We can see they're getting larger. And they're not getting larger by hundreds, it's just by tens. So we have to go up by tens. So that's 300, 310, 320. And here we have getting smaller by tens, 500, 490, 480. These are getting are decreasing by a hundred at a time. So it's 443, 343, 243, and finally 143. And now we have 681, 691. These are going up by tens. 701 is next, 711, and then 700. 21 and then we can see 731 would be next 427 now we don't see what comes next here we're gonna have to go to the end to see what it's doing it's getting smaller by 10 as we go so it's decreasing by 10 417 407 and 397 387 377 here again we got to look at the end now what you can do with these is when you don't have a place to start, 
you can do them backwards. So if I go this, if I look at this this way, it's getting larger, right? Going, if we look at this going in the backwards direction, it's getting larger. So we want to keep getting larger, 798. And then this way we want to get a little bit bigger, 800, 8, and then 818. And now when we check this, we look at it all, it should be going down. If we go this way, <laughs> the regular way, it should be getting down by going down by 10 each time just to make sure we went in the right direction. 18, 808, 78. 88, 78, 68. Okay. Complete each statement. Now this is just basic error away. We're adding 10, so 245. And then we're adding 100 to that, 345. 391. Well, it's going to be 100 less, 291. And this is going to be 10 less, 281. On to number C, or letter C. 417 minus 10 is 407. And now I'm stuck. I don't know what to subtract because I don't know what I'm going to have left. So what I have to do is work backwards. 297. So this is 100 less than this one here. So what's a hundred less? This this is a hundred less. So that means this one here has to be one hundred more. So it had to be three hundred ninety seven. And we can just check that. Three hundred ninety seven subtract a hundred two hundred ninety seven. That's great. So now we know how to figure out the difference here and it looks like it's minus ten. 407 to 397. On this one, we're just subtracting 10, subtracting 10, subtracting 100, adding 100, adding 100. So watch these operation signs. Make sure you know whether you're adding or subtracting. Be careful. 311 minus 10 is 301. Minus 10 again is 291. Add 100. 391, add 100, 491, add 10, 501. Solve using, solve using the arrow way. So here we've got 376. And it says here, using the arrow way. So you have to show the, the arrow way. And we're going to add 103 plus 100, 476. And then we can add the 3. We can add one at a time, but we can add all 3. 479. Two hundred ninety. We have to get to 400. So let's start with 290. And we could add, can we add 100? I think, yeah, we can. Because then we have 390. And then we add a 10. 400. Now look at what we had to add. We had to add this 100 and this 10. So we added 100 and 10. So... What do we have to add to 290? We have to add 110. And letter C. This is almost the same kind of problem. We have to figure out the first add end. So we're going to add our way up from 712 to 852. We have to figure out what to add to 712. Even though we don't know what comes first, it doesn't matter because this is addition. And remember, you can... Because the commutative property it doesn't matter which one you start with, so we'll start with we'll start with the 712, and we can add 100 to that. 812, and 10 more. 822, 10 more. 
832 and maybe now that we're getting closer you can see how this is going to go maybe plus 10 more 842 and plus 10 more 852 and we stop there because that's the 852 we wanted so what do we have to add we had to add 110 20 30 40 we had to add 140 